Because if collectively you were all just like, well, <laughs> what does it look like? I'm not gonna lie to you. It, it still looks like a dead body, but it looks way fucking better than that pull-up doll from 30 years ago. And that's what scares me, because everything gets better, right? You look at when cars first came out, the stupid horn, ah, you had to crank start it, you'd run over your best friend. Now you can start one up with a remote control from like 50 yards away, right? Remember when airbags first came out? They just had one for the driver. My family! just save me! <laughs> and then eventually, they got airbags for everybody. Well, these robot sex dolls are gonna be no different, okay? They're just gonna keep getting better and better and better. And these fucking nerds are not gonna be making any regular looking robot dolls, right? You know, some girl next door, you know, just some plain Jane, the chick your mom likes being like, well, there's a nice girl you can settle down with. She knows how to cook. Fuck that. They're gonna make Victoria's Secret supermodels, just absolutely like Paris runway looking supermodels. And you're gonna be able to come home to one of these things and it's gonna laugh at all your jokes. Ah, 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 It's gonna sit down and watch the game with you like it doesn't get any better than this. Yes, it does. And it's gonna get up and make you a fucking, I don't know, a bunt cake or a meat pie, whatever the fuck you people eat, right? There's not gonna be a human woman in here that's gonna be able to compete with that for longer than 90 minutes, even on your birthday. By the third trip to the fridge, she's gonna be like, yeah, fucking get it yourself. What am I, your slave? Go fuck yourself. And after where you've been with one of these robots, like sex dolls, this, you, you're not gonna be able to go back to a real woman, right? With all her hopes and dreams and her needs. You're gonna be coming home, she's like, what is going on with you? We're not connecting, we need a date night. All you'll be thinking is like, how do I shut this fucking thing off? What is it, on nagging mode? Why isn't it blowing me right now? I, I, I clearly entered the room. I entered the room, it's supposed to drop to its knees and blow me, I don't understand. Yeah, like your ego is gonna be at like a dictator level. Like me and my man tits have arrived. Service me, say that I am your lord. Yeah, that's it. That's it, you're not gonna be able to go back to a real woman. And then nobody's gonna be fucking women, so they're gonna get lonely, so they're gonna have to create a doll for you guys, right? A giant fucking, I don't know what, I don't know what you guys are into. I don't pretend to know, like some giant Brad Pitt looking fucking robot doll, it's fucking eight pack abs, a robot dick down to the floor, you know? <laughs> Holds both your hands when you tell a story, right? <laughs> well, whatever you're into. Opens a bottle of wine at 12 noon, it's got to be five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> I think they're gonna fuck us into extinction. Because at that point, the only people left having sex with other human beings are gonna be hipsters and the homeless, right? Because <laughs> hipsters, they, they love all the old shit, right? Cassette tapes, frisbees, dressing like a cobbler, whatever the fuck it is they're doing, right? But even a homeless guy, you know, after like, I don't know, a couple of years, he'll be able to drag some old, one-legged, fucked out robot model out of the trash, drag it back to its lair, and even. That thing will still be building them up, you know, just laying there like, I don't think you smell that bad. <laughs> this is my favorite bridge. <laughs> yeah. And we're all gonna fucking die off. And what's gonna be left to fight these robots off is gonna be an entire generation of hipster spawn. Yeah, and they're gonna go to war ironically. Yeah, dressing, dress like, I don't know, fucking growing Civil War beards dressing like Star Wars action figures, and they're gonna get fucking slaughtered. <laughs> and right when they get down to the last 30, there's gonna be some liberal robot going like, we should save a few for posterity, right? <laughs> they're just gonna stick them in a zoo. Maybe this little hodgepodge of what was left, you know, black, white, Latin, Asian, gay, straight, trans, whatever, whatever the fuck, right? <laughs> and they're still gonna be arguing with each other. The robots are just be standing outside going, I love it when they cross their legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this is the fucking world that I brought my daughter into. Like, I actually am legitimately scared about that. Like, I don't know. I gotta tell you, though, becoming a dad, though, was the greatest, is the greatest fucking thing that ever happened to me, man. It really is. I don't have any jokes about my kid. No, it is. And you're applauding my wife. She did all the work. Yeah. 
Yeah, knocking a woman up, that's easy. You just, you just have fun. You, unprotected sex, bam, you knock them up, and then they have to deal with it, you know? No matter how much they try to drag you into it, it really is, it's their show. 